Welcome to Taking the Biz, the A-Level Business Channel. This video is all about the return on capital employed ratio. Really useful ratio this for appraising the position of a business and for judging the performance of managers in the organization. With this profitability ratio, it really allows us to judge whether managers are effectively running the business. So this ratio has a look at the capital that's been employed into the organization. And that's the funds that are raised from borrowing, mortgages, loans, debentures, uh, also money that's raised from shareholder investment and the money that might be raised from retained profits as well. And the organisation is going to take that pot, that sum, that war chest of money, and it is going to invest it or employ it in the organisation. But it's only going to employ funds in the organisation if it can earn all of that money back again plus profit on top. No business wants to invest capital without making more back than they've invested in the first place. So what the ROCE tells us is what that profit is as a percentage of that original sum of capital that we've employed in the organization. So for example, if a business raises one million pounds worth of capital, deploys it into the organization, it's gonna to wanna to make that one million pounds back again, plus, profit on top so that the business makes a return. ROCE is what that return is as a percentage of the amount of capital raised. Now, when we're working out the ROCE, obviously the larger the percentage, the better. We would like our ROCE to be as high a figure as we possibly can. However, when we're studying the ROCE, it's important to try and treat it in context. So if we had an ROCE of 20%, for example, whether that is an attractive figure or not to, or to the organization really depends on a couple of factors. So it might depend on what rivals ROCEs are as well, or what the industry average ROCE is. And if our figure of 20% compares favorably to what rivals or the industry average is, happy days. If our RCE actually looks quite tepid compared to what rivals in the same industry under the same market conditions have been able to achieve, it makes our figure a little bit more questionable. And one thing that we can really try and use the RSE for is to see how it's developed over time. So our figure of 20% might seem a little bit disappointing compared to rivals, but if that's an improvement on last year's figure of just 12%, then at least we can see that the organization is improving. So we really should look out for in case studies and exams any hints that the ROCE has changed over time. If, of course, the ROC is quite high, but is declining, then again, that is just something that might raise question marks about the management of the business. Why is it that their returns this year aren't as high as they've been in previous years? Now, there's a couple of things with the ROC we might just want to watch out for, just to see whether the business has done anything that might artificially have affected its ROCE and perhaps inflated it beyond the level that's a really true reflection of the management of the organization. So the first of those is whether the business has bolstered its operating profit through a one-off sale, perhaps of an asset that the organization no longer requires. And that's what we refer to as quite a poor quality profit. Poor quality because it's something that can't be replicated. So selling off an old factory or some other property might artificially boost our operating profit for a year thus increasing our return on capital employed, but we can't bank on having to sell off property every year to boost our, our business's profit figures. So this is something that might make the ROC seem artificially high compared to its natural level. And again, if you do get access to financial information in your case studies, in your exams, it's just one thing that you might be able to look out for. The other thing we could perhaps try and spot as we're reading case studies is whether the organization is leasing a lot of its assets. So if the organization, rather than buying assets, especially very expensive ones like property, it's leasing them instead, then again, this means that the capital employed into the organization 
isn't going to be as great as it would be for a firm that's actually purchased those assets and is going to own them outright. So it might be that a firm has a slightly higher ROCE than rivals because this is a firm that relies quite heavily on leasing its long-term fixed assets rather than purchasing them, thus meaning that its profits compared to its capital employed figure might be slightly higher. So there's the ROC for you. It's really important to compare this figure to something to really put it in context. We're really looking out for whether it's rising or declining over time and whether it compares favorably to rivals figures or industry averages. In the meantime, keep on taking the biz. Good luck with your ratio revision. See you very soon.